The Rolana fight can be easily divided into two phases. The first one is the aggressive tank phase. The second one is the retreat phase. At the beginning of the tank phase, Rolana is normally going to use a magic spell. Either the sword one or the arc one do a simple roll to dodge these. Now to explain the tank phase. Basically, the tank phase means this is when you do as much damage as you can to her. Yes, this is Millennia 2.0, but at the same time, she cannot heal. Now, she will do a lot of variations of the same combos. So sometimes there's just three hits, four hits, five hits. Sometimes I felt like they were six hits, but if you time them right and don't spam your rolling and keep close and use jump attacks, she will frequently miss you, and this is when you try to stagger her. When you stagger her, you'll be able to do more damage, and also when she's knocked on the ground, the game actually lets you do some damage while she's there. So once you stagger her, get in a quick hit, roll away, and then get ready to kind of continue the tank phase, but there's going to be some new attacks that can occur at this time. And as you can see here, I am doing timed dodges I am not spamming the dodge button I'm just looking for her to swoop down I quickly click and then I get in some hits and then I get her staggered again and in this process I actually get to skip an AOE that she does and I'm about to show in a second now Rolana will pull out this massive blue sword the first one's a vertical strike and easy just roll to the side but then, unlike what I do on the first attempt, you need to wait a second and then roll and then you'll be able to dodge it. And yes, this second part of the battle is super intense. We'll talk about that in a second. Also, just like Millennia, using a jump strong R2 attack, for some reason, is hard for her to deal with. But as you can see, she has her blue sword and her red sword. This is when you go and instead of running away, this is when you try to stagger her again. I know she's charging up and she looks super powerful, but you can get a lot of damage. And even if you screw up like I do here when all the fire starts exploding, I still got a significant amount of damage. And now this is when we begin the retreat phase and we are going to really pick our spots when we attack. Because all of this blue red sword stuff is almost like an insta kill or two hits and you're dead. When Rolana rises into the sky, be prepared for the bubble attack. The first two are going to drop close together and the third one is delayed. Also, if you time it right, you can go in for a jump attack or regular attack and then get back out of there. But the main thing is, if you get hit by these three bubbles, you are pretty much going to be dead. So make sure one, two, wait, then three, and then go and strike. Now, what really sucks is in the second phase, she will use both of her magic attacks at the same time, sometimes with the sword, and you have to like double dodge them. Plus, there's way more little swords, so be prepared to dodge the arch first, then you dodge the rest. Now, after this, you are basically in the full-on retreat, or as I like to call it, stay away phase. This does not mean we're not going to attack, but as you can see, I literally play the whole battle in retreat. So run, roll, just don't spam your rolls. Again, you kind of want a little bit of a delay in between your rolls, but you do this until you see that she's clearly given up and you get an opening. If you go in too quick, sometimes she'll do this little impale stab thing. So make sure she's fully done, then either run and jump or just sprint and just slap her real quick and then you gotta run away. Also, make sure that you heal whenever she's in one of these very clear I'm done stances. Do not just sit there and go, oh, I got time to heal. Wait till she's fully done because just like in the first phase, sometimes the combos are two hits, three hits, four hits, five hits, and I don't really take too much damage in this run or attempt but if she hits you with the double upward orange and blue attack even with me being at level 70 vigor and i think i'm plus 90 on strength um that's pretty much an insta kill or like 95 percent of your health is gone so again 
retreat, dodge, you go in for a hit, and then leave, and then hopefully at some point, on multiple attempts, or maybe after one, you get to have an experience like this. Alright y'all, I'm gonna post my talismans up here so you can see what I use. Main thing is, is be aggressive at the beginning, but once you get into that blue and orange sword phase, now you gotta play defensive and be very reactive. But I hope this helps somebody out there. Again, if y'all like this, please make sure to like and subscribe. We'll have some other Elden Ring guides and games from other games coming out, so make sure to follow me on other socials and streaming platforms, and then subscribe for more content. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye and have a good rest of your day.